All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Timeless Kick. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Just a couple disclaimers before this video gets started. First, I apologize for my wet hair. I just took a shower. Second, I apologize for the way I sound. I have a little bit of a sinus infection, so that's why I sound kind of gross. But we've got a busy day today. It is currently 9.44 on August 2nd. It is Yeezy Day already took a bunch of L's so that's been great. I really wanted to get the zebras but they were on Yeezy Supply and I never, never get a dub manually on Yeezy Supply so I wasn't expecting much anyways but we've got a busy day ahead of us. My last video was unboxing a couple shoes and you guys saw that I unboxed some Carmines. Those actually sold so I gotta ship those out this morning. I think I'm also gonna go to the outlets real quick just see if they've got any steals. Sometimes the Nike outlet by me has some heat so cross my fingers hopefully we'll pick something up and yeah i've just got a couple errands to run so first i guess i'll just show you like the process that i go through when i'm filling out an order so we've just got a box right here i use the lowe's one so just gonna put this together real quick i always use some gorilla masking tape because this is really reliable stuff when you're shipping something out so let's just get this box set up real quick All right, so I'm just gonna go grab the Carmines real quick. My little setup over here, nothing nothing too crazy, as you can tell. I got my ring light right here, and then just a couple of shoes, and then just a picture, and I, and I set it up on my shoe boxes with just some grass for IG photos. So these are the Carmines right here, just gonna grab these, and we'll place them in the box. And I'm gonna fill this with some paper just so the box doesn't get damaged in transit. I also just like to add my logo. Um, I'm looking into getting some business cards, so I might go to Staples um, one day to just buy some business cards because that's not really it. So now I just got some packing paper and I'm just gonna start ripping it off and crumpling it up. The shoes are secured. Alright, so I, pa I packed the box with some paper. Now it's time to just close it up and slap a label on it. Now the boxes that I use are actually moving boxes. So they do have handles um, right here. So I like to tape these shut just to make sure that they don't open again during transit. And I got my shipping label. I'm not going to show it because I don't want to show off the address. But I'm just going to put this on the box too. Alright, now it is ready to be shipped. And by the way, if you guys are ever looking for cheaper shipping labels, I definitely recommend using Shippo. You can always find the cheapest rates to ship out your boxes. I love using that website. It's so easy to use. Not a promotion, but yeah, if you're ever looking for cheaper shipping labels, definitely check out Shippo. So when I am going to ship out a box, I always like to take a picture of the box and the shipping label just so the buyer knows that I'm legit and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll just DM them, show them what we're rocking with, and uh, then I'll ship it out. So these shoes are going to Fresh underscore Kicks with a Q. So if you want to check out his page, he's got some great stuff, a bunch of different references. He's based out of Boston, so if you ever want to buy from him, definitely check him out. And because I'm a newer reseller, we are running GUA, which means a gift upon arrival. So I'll get my payment once he receives the package. So I'm just going to go to the UPS store, and then we're going to hit up the Nike outlet. So... Let's see if we can get any steals today. Before we go to UPS and the Nike outlet, I wanted to show you guys a recent pickup. I just got Air Jordan 1 Low OGs Neutral Grays. I really, really like these. And they're my size that I ended up getting, so I don't know if I want to undies these or not. They aren't really going for much resale, so I might just put these in my personal because they're honestly pretty clean. And I was able to get these for a steal off of a reseller called H-Town Laced. Incredible deal, by the way. Very, very close to retail on these. So I might just have to undies these and just rock them. Because I really, really do like them. And I want to switch out one of the laces for the gray ones. Because I just think that's really cool. And I love my white shoes. I love white sneakers. So I've been thinking about maybe keeping these for the personal. We'll see. I don't know. But these are my recent pickup. So I'm just going to do a quick little fit check. Just got 
the Cactus Jack t-shirt on, the motocross, just some Nike shorts, Nike socks, and then the Air Max one clots because I think they match the shirt pretty nicely. So. so I am currently working on modifying my Forerunner, so I wanted to show you guys real quick my recent modification that I'm going to get. We got some TRD rims. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get these installed. I can't install them myself because I'm not because I'm not savvy enough, but look at how beautiful these are. I'm so stoked. I already got some like black exterior details from like Amazon. Um, the next couple of projects that I'm working on I would love to be able to install a new center console because this one doesn't have Apple Play. Getting the black rims put on in a couple days, then possibly some new lighting, and that's pretty much it. But I love my Forerunner so much. I named her Sylvia. She is she's amazing. So so we got the package right here. Just gonna run to the UPS store real quick, drop that off, and then we're gonna head to the outlet to see what we can find. All right, so the package was delivered, so now I'm just gonna take a picture of the tracking number and send it to the buyer, so. As usual, the 200 milligram caffeinated drink Celsius was not enough for me, so I just went to go grab a Red Bull real quick, but let's head to the outlets. Okay, so I made it to the outlets. It is currently 10.50, so I'm about 10 minutes early. So I think I'm just gonna hop in line at Nike. I don't know if I'm gonna film. If I do end up filming, it'll probably be on my phone, so. All right guys, so I'm back and I took so many L's today. I keep trying to get something on Yeezy Day and it is just not working. The Nike outlet didn't really have anything that I liked or there was really nothing worth buying. I thought it was gonna be a better day for buying, but I guess not and I guess maybe that's the universe's way of telling me to slow down and stop spending my money. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. So I guess you guys will wait to find out. All right, so I haven't picked up the camera pretty much for the whole day because there really wasn't much to film. Today was kind of just a big L. I didn't end up getting anything while shopping and it's a Yeezy day and this has pretty much just been my day. Just sitting on Yeezy supplies confirmed in the Adidas app, taking L's after L's. But I forgot to mention the other day, Nike had a restock and I was able to get the Nike Dunk Pandas. I got those before when they first released and I ended up selling them and I kind of regretted it because I really liked them. I was able to get them again um, when they restocked, so I'm really excited about those. I think those are coming in Thursday. And yeah, we just got some upcoming drops too that we gotta watch out for. The Travis Scott Fragment 1 Lows are coming out and I, I like those better than the highs personally. The highs was just a crazy I, I don't even know what that was, but the drop was, in my opinion, trash. We got the Jordan 1 Pollens coming out, the Sea Foams. I'm still waiting today to, um, to try and get the bread Yeezy V2 350s. We'll see about that. I know that there has been talks about an Ama Manier Jordan 1. I'll be on the lookout for that too, but I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it was kind of a boring video, but... Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon.